Hello, my brothers and sisters in Christ and guests. Vicki here coming to you from Southeast Central Kansas. It's time for a special Super Bowl 57 edition washroom report. Now, why do I say that? Well, uh, probably just a guesstimate. There will be probably somewhere between 90 and 100,000 people in Glendale, Arizona. And your halftime entertainment of demonic influence is Rihanna, okay? And knowing what we know about so many different things, and stick with me because there are some breaking developments occurring, we also have uh, Daniel 7, and also Ezekiel 38 coming into further fruition. Okay, so let's get into it. But I have been praying about the Super Bowl event for several days now. Why? Because the forces of wickedness in the high places, okay, it's just... You know, there's no telling what they have planned. Now, I personally, I walk away at halftime. I don't watch it. But I do know, pay close attention if you're watching the game. There is one commercial that I seen uh, the other day. It's just, it was just a small trailer clip, okay, for uh, potato chips. Starts with the P, ends in an S, and comes in the tube so i know you know what i'm talking about um they are mocking adam and eve okay so be on the lookout for that commercial so let's get into it listen to this national security advisor out of india okay daniel seven ajit deval called on now they're calling him h e President Putin, and I sat there and I wondered, what is H-E? His Excellency, <laughs> right, wide-ranging discussions on bilateral and regional issues agreed to continue work towards implementing the India-Russia Strategic Partnership, and he's been pretty busy. I'm going to try to get in here. Because, let's see, he was in the U.S. last week, Russia this week, and I believe he's going to be heading to Ukraine as well. So there's that. Now, there was an article that came out that the Capital F, capital B, capital I, has found a gateway to declare Christians as criminals. Now, the article said Christians, but when I read it, it was talking about Catholicism, okay? And, but, you know, make no mistake about it, uh, it it'll go on down the line. And speaking of, while I've got it on my mind, last evening on my local news, okay, um, you know, they're talking about, you know, the large objects, NORAD, NORAD is following, you know, uh, uh, they shut down their space in Montana at hate. H A Y T E, I guess, Montana for a few hours. Um, give me a moment. I got a sniffle. Okay, now, um, but anyway, the, I believe it's the United Methodist Church has a new bishop. Okay, and He's going to be in charge uh, of something like, I believe, 99 
churches, okay, the head bishop, and they were showing that how they are putting indigenous peoples into their flocks now, which God is no respecter of persons, don't get me wrong, right? However, they showed uh, a head like Indian warrior, okay, at the front of the church, you know, the cross is way in the background. He's wearing his wardrobe along with his feathered headdress. He is, you know, talking in a different language and doing things with his hands. You know, these are demonic entities, principalities. If you are in a church that has anything to do with this, run. Okay, because this is not of God. This is not of God. Okay, let's go on. And this is the condemnation, that the light has come into the world and men love darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil, for everyone practicing evil hates the light and does not come to the light lest his deeds should be exposed okay john 3 19 and 20 the rapture is imminent okay there was you know in canada as well I've heard that breaking today that there is a UFO over Beijing and they're getting ready to shoot it down. It's the alien agenda. They are not aliens. They are the Nephilim. They are the fallen. Angels of darkness. The one third of the ten, ten thousand thousands of angels that God threw out of heaven because they went against him, because Satan believes that he will be higher and greater than the Lord God Almighty, who rules and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Sandra uh, Carmona, fully jabbed up, which is communication director of the Ministry of Health of La Rojosa, Spain, dies suddenly age 42, from a massive heart attack. Now, going along with the neck issues that are going on, this is the P5 Fozer dude. Okay, I may have showed this before. Watch his neck. Like the spirit of frogs. Okay. Okay. And it was breaking yesterday that Las Vegas, oh yes, the city prides itself on sin, degradation, debauchery, vomit, has no gas. Yeah, no gas. Okay. Joe Biden and Lula from Brazil, the unelected, selected newbie there, vow to defend democracy in the Americas because what they have done, they've taken uh, North America, Canada, and South America, and that's one big thing. And we're going to call it the Americas. There is no more United States of America. We're all just one big global happy family. And I hope you hear my sarcasm. 
Meanwhile, yesterday, there were massive protests in Paris, France. Look at all the people. Time to go home. And the death toll rises to over 25,000 people in the Turkey, Syria. Now, I had shared on my community page, uh, I think it was 71,000, something like that. Um, sorry about that. However, um, there is, you know, experts in this matter, according to all of the massive destruction in these uh, two countries, um, it's believed to be potentially that there could be up to 180,000 people who have died. Yeah. And the U.S. Army Chinook helicopters were found landing in um, in Kuralik Air Base in Turkey. Yeah. And in Turkey, people are being, I'm going to turn it down, I just can't stand all the noise, beaten, arrested. Some of these are children. Hauled off to Turkish prisons because they say that they were looting. I'm quite certain it's very cold there in the rubble. I'm quite certain they are looking for food. They are looking for something to make shelter. They are looking for warm clothing. I digress. The capital C, capital I, capital A director, William Burns, said following his visit to Israel and the PA that conditions in the West Bank resemble the tensions that preceded the Second Intifada in which thousands of Israelis and Palestinians were killed. Now, this came out two days ago. I just saw it last night. The Iranian Revolutionary Guard Corps, the Quds Force Commander Ismail Kiani, was filmed in the Syrian coastal city of Latakia. He was inspecting damage caused by the earthquake. Now, why is Iran terror group in Syria still? A senior U.S. government delegation to set to travel to Saudi Arabia's capital of Riyadh to participate in the GCC, the U.S. Gulf Cooperation Council, February 13th through 16th. Then at LAX yesterday, a jet being towed on a taxiway, collided with a bus. Yeah, and it injured five people. Who's mine in the store? Now, this came out yesterday because last night, uh, it was Jerusalem time. It would be uh, two minutes before 7 p.m., so... It was two minutes before 11 a.m. I did receive the rocket that went into uh, Nakal Oz uh, from the Gaza. Well, it got shot down. Praise the Lord, right? Here it comes. There it goes. And Israel has not retaliated as of yet. 
Let's see. Yeah, Canada closed its airspace over the Yukon uh, because of an active, you know, air defense operation. Um, North American uh, Aerospace Defense Command monitoring one or two more potential spy balloons. Yeah. Residents who, this is in Israel now. Residents who live in the home of the terrorists who carried out the terror attack on Friday, you know, the car ramming one, have been told that they have until 11 p.m. to remove all contents from their homes before it is completely demolished. And let's not forget Hamas calls for an escalation in Yehuda, Shamran, and Jerusalem. Yeah. And the IDF's canine unit was spotted in Turkey. This is no long a rescue mission. We are one weekend. This is a cadaver dog search here for people. Now listen to this. The tribes of Nasiriya, Shatra, Basra, and Al-Zubair sent a giant aid convoy to Syria. Yet, the Iran-backed militias seized the trucks and kept them at a different location, planning to send them with weapons as part of a coming convoy for the PMJ terrorists. Pentagon on FAA temporarily closes airspace over Montana. Yeah. That's enough of that. I'm not even going to talk about that anymore. Listen. A mob in eastern Pakistan stormed a police station and lynched a man under custody and accused of blasphemy. Okay? Germany will grant three-month visas to Turkish and Syrian earthquake vis- victims with family that's already in the country. So here we have more forced movement, human trafficking. Thousands demonstrate in uh, Tirana calling for the resignation of Prime Minister um Adai Rama over corruption claims and blaming him for the rising poverty in Albania. So here we go. Another one will bite the dust. And Iran's butcher, President Raisi, will visit China from Tuesday to Thursday. So this is part of the GCC, which I just spoke about, that the U.S. is also going to be a part of. Because everybody's invited by President Xi. Here's a 38, Ezekiel 38 moment. Sudan, one of the players, it's Turkey, Russia, Iran, Libya, and Sudan, Ethiopia. Sudan's ruling military concludes a review of an agreement with Russia to build a Navy base on the Red Sea in the African country. Due to concrete and immediate threat on the, this is breaking, this just came out five hours ago. A concrete and immediate threat on the Israeli delegation in Turkey assisting in the work Israel's uh, Akud Hatzala volunteer team has left overnight. They picked up and left and went back home to Israel. 
This also came out. IDF sources say that the police towards Ga- the policy towards Gaza has not changed. The conditions did not allow it, and we will attack at the right time. And somebody put this about all the balloons, okay? I don't know if I'm being distracted by the deaths, so I don't notice inflation. Or if inflation is the distraction to the Ukraine money laundering, or if Ukraine is a distraction for the rampant pedophilia, or if pedos are distracting me from election fraud. Now, remember about Palestine, Ohio, the huge... You know, everybody was evacuated because of the railroad, the uh, massive crash, and there were supposed, you know, lethal toxins or whatever. Here you go. There is a... I'm fixing to show you the photos. Oh, yes. We live in a world where nothing goes unnoticed now. Nothing. A giant cloud of polyvinyl chloride and a ton of other bad chemicals. The local police blew it up like a beached well. Now there are megatoxins like Chernobyling, Ohio, and the police are beating, and I already showed you that, reporters and camera people and dragging them out. This is Ohio. Yeah. Hello? Yeah. Nothing to see here. Everything's perfectly normal. Unprecedented. And that's what I have for you today. I love you guys. Go cheese. Maranatha.